I'd like to introduce you to the Outlook Journal as well as post discussion notes. Now Microsoft has faded the Outlook Journal out over the last couple of Outlook editions, but it's still a very useful feature to use. In the past it was quite prominent, especially in Outlook 2003, but in 2016 you need to go digging to find the journal function. Now to do that, the quickest way is to go Control 6 and that will take you to your folder list. So Control 6 takes us to your folder list and this allows you to see all the different folders that you have in Outlook. From the Control 6 or folder list, you can access your contacts, you can access your calendar and any subfolders within the calendar. But what you can also do is access the journal. So there I've got the journal sitting over there. Now if you've never seen the journal, the journal is a great place for you to make notes of conversations you have with people, telephone calls that you make to people, and it will also record how long the conversation took place and when that conversation took place. So say for example, I need to phone Joe. So I'm going to select new journal entry. And in the subject line, I'm going to put Joe's name and what this discussion was about. So let's say new budget. Under entry type, I can select a phone call. There's a task, task request. And if we scroll up, We've got everything from a letter, a meeting, a conversation. I've got the start date as well as the start time. And if I want, in the ribbon bar, I can click the button that says Start Timer. Once I'm done with my conversation, I can click on Pause Timer and Save and Close. Or if I want, I can make any additional notes in the body. So now I'm going to click on Pause Timer. And I'm going to click on save and close. And what will happen is Outlook will then take that journal and it will add it to my list. Now at the moment I've got a list of all my phone calls. If I want I can view it by entry list or even timeline. And it will show me exactly when that conversation or that phone call took place. I can even see all the journal entries I've done in the last seven days. So all the phone calls I've had in the last seven days, or all conversations I've had in the last seven days. So now, if I ever want to refer back to that phone call, all I do is I go to my entry list or my phone call list, and all I have to do is find that phone call I made, and I can see the contents of that phone call in the reading pane. So a very useful feature, the journal. Great for when you have to bill people by the hour. So now that we've dealt with a journal, let's look at another useful feature called a post discussion note. Now generally I use the post discussion note for when I'm sitting at my desk and I receive a phone call from a client. Now usually people will make notes on a piece of paper, but the problem with that is you often lose that piece of paper. A post discussion note allows me to make those exact same notes but within the Outlook environment. So I'm sitting at my desk, telephone rings, I pick it up, and let's say it's Susan, and Susan needs to discuss a few things with me. So what I can do is I can click on my inbox, and I can create a new post discussion note by using the keyboard shortcut, Control, Shift, and S. In the subject line, I'm going to put Susan's name. Okay, and this was the new production schedule that she wanted to chat about. Then in the body, I can make note of our conversation. And let's say we're discussing a particular email that she sent to me earlier. I can click on insert. I can go Outlook item. I can go and find the email and I can insert that into the post discussion note. If she needs to discuss a particular Word document with me, I can go insert, attach file. I can find the document I want. Let's say it's the weekly review and I can put it in there as well. So the record of my conversation, as well as any documentation regarding that conversation, is sitting in one place. When I'm done with a conversation, all I then do is click on Post, and it will then post that discussion note to my inbox. From here, I can either drag it into my filing system, or I can action it. Say, for example, I need to make sure that all these items get done by Thursday morning. 
So what I then do is I can take this whole post discussion note, I can drag it onto my calendar, Outlook will create a new calendar entry, and it will put the content of the post discussion note in the body, and I can then go and book time in my calendar to do it. So post discussion notes is a great place to store information of conversations that you have on an ad hoc basis.